So a question we get asked quite a lot is how do I keep track of who has read policies and who has acknowledged that they've read them? So I'm going to show you a quick way of how you can do that out of the box using Office 365. So you've got your policies inside SharePoint and you might have them stored inside a document library. And one thing we want to do is we want to find out if staff have actually read it and have a record of that. So one really simple way of doing this out of the box in Office 365 is to copy a link to those policies because we're going to use that later in the form that we create. And then if we open up Microsoft Forms, we then can create a form to send out to people to make sure that they've read the policy. So I'm going to create a brand new form. I'm going to call it policy receipt form. And then I'm simply going to ask one question. And that's going to be a choice question. And the question is going to be, um, I have read and been informed about the contents, requirements, and expectations of the policies linked below. And that's where I copy and paste in that link to those policies. Now, my, uh, my choice columns here, I can just get rid of the other choice. And the only option they're going to have if they decide to complete this form is I agree. And I'm going to make that a required option for them to complete this form. So if we click the share button, I can share it so only people in my organization can respond. That means I can keep track of who has actually signed it. Um, if it was anonymous, I wouldn't be able to do that. So I make sure it's that link there. And then when I'm opening this up, this is what it would look like to the end user. They'll have this, they can click on the link, they can read all those policy documents if they wanted to. Um, but if they do and they agree to it, then they can click the agree button, add submit it and return it back to me. Once people have filled these in, I can go to my responses. I can open in Excel. And this will open up and give me a list of everybody who has read and agreed to reading those policies. Here we go. And I've got a date and time stamp. I've got the email address of the person, their name, and that they have agreed that they have read those policy documents.